God and there is no other. Amen. So when we're talking about hearing from God, the one thing that we have to get straight is that God is God. And then when he's speaking, it's God speaking. One of the biggest problems we have is that we treat God like everybody else. You know how it goes. If somebody's talking to you, you don't really want to hear what they have to say. It goes in one ear and out the other. You take it for what you want out of it, and you dismiss the rest of it. And depending on who the person is, you might not even hear them at all. They could just be talking. Lord, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know those people who, when they, they're saying, they're just saying words. You don't, you don't take any time to actually try to decipher what they're saying because they're just saying words. It doesn't matter because at the end of the conversation, nothing in your life changes anyway, so why put any energy in that? Sometimes we do that with God. That God is speaking, and we act like this is someone who we can just ignore. We act like it's someone who we can listen to what they say if we feel like it, and if we don't feel like it, whatever. Or if they say something that we happen to want to hear, it's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll get back to you on that. Have your people call my people. <laughs> and I know the Christian's like, no, no, Pastor. We would never do that to God. We would never treat the Holy One of Israel that way. Never. But when we ignore him, when we don't see his face, when we don't ask what he wants of us, we're effectively doing the same thing. We're still telling him he's really 